Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! We made a pit stop today at Costco and loaded up. They had the grass seed on sale. You think it'll do the trick? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I hope so. It's one of those things where you lay it down and you just wait for it to happen. But I'm hoping that if we get the grass seed laid down now, when we move in in a couple of weeks, we might actually have a little bit of a lawn starting to poke up. That would be nice. It would be super nice. But you were having a hard time not buying all the flowers that were there. Oh, they have everything out right now. So nice. It's just we don't have anywhere to put it right now. I'd have to keep it alive on our kitchen table. Yeah, so Melissa showed great self-restraint. Well, not that good of restraint. Look what I ended up with. Oh yeah, you did buy some bulbs. Yeah, Clematis. Clematis. For the chain link? Is that for the front chain link? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, we'll and figure then, that out. Uh, that's hummingbird. I'm not calling in there. You have I'm a bag gonna... of dried hummingbirds? That's just, gross. Just take my word for it. There's good... Hummingbird yeah. flowers. Yes. Oh, and garbage bags, oh, which yeah. we need for the, the store, since we're still open for a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to go off to the house and put the grass seed down. Okey While Melissa goes and picks up the kids, I am off to our property to go put the grass seed down, and it is a beautiful day. Why, I've got the world on a string, I'm sitting on a rainbow, got that string around my finger, oh man, what a world, what a life, I'm in love. It's just a happy kind of day, and be even happier once the grass gets put in. Uh, well, the seeds anyway. <laughs> so off I go to uh, plant the seeds for what will hopefully become our new lawn. Well, I might have been out here a little prematurely. They are still doing a bit of the grading in the backyard. I'm hoping I can sweet them, talk them into taking a little sod pile that was left behind when we did the grass around the pool. But I'm going to just hang back and let them do their work for a bit and uh, get out there pretty soon and hopefully get the grass seed started. All right, time to get the grass seed ready. Guys are just about done in the back. And as I parked here at the front, I can see that the uh, missing exterior light showed up. So it looks like that's going in. I think the bathroom mirrors are going in. I can't, I, I can't go in to show you because Drew Pad wants it to be a surprise. So I'm gonna be good and I'm not gonna sneak in there, but I am gonna start laying the seed down. We start in the back. We'll go one bag at a time until all these are gone. Each one of these bags, they say, does up to 700 squ 720 square meters, 7,800 square feet. Well, that depends on how much seed you're putting down. We're kind of starting from scratch here. I'm laying it on a little bit thick, so I'll probably get about half the coverage. That's why I bought so many bags. I have to do the whole yard. That's going to be a lot of grass seed, but it'll be worth it once we have a nice lawn this summer. There's a couple of things that Melissa's gonna be happy about that are happening today. One, we had some scruffy brush that was sticking out of the ground over there that I ran over with our lawnmower. <laughs> um, it was a whole thing. Anyway, there was a piece left I couldn't get. They yanked it out, they got it out. And right now, uh, he found a really expensive, a nice decorative rock that somebody had left there, the last people. We're gonna move it over by the tree so we can kind of landscape around it. Kind of nice little bonus. Um, Holes are getting filled. They cleared the big sod pile we had sitting over there. Things are looking up. I've got about half of the yard done so far. Uh, well, I shouldn't say half. Maybe a third of the yard done so far. It's taken three of those bags. I'm still working at it, still working away, and uh, we're gonna keep going until this whole thing is covered in grass seed. I'm trying to get it done right now because uh, in a couple days it's supposed to rain for like a week. So uh, that'll be great to let it saturate, let it sink into the ground, and hopefully, like I said, hopefully by the time we, we get in here, there'll actually be some grass popping up. There he is with a big decorative rock that was hidden over in our bush. He said it was an expensive piece and somebody probably bought that slab to do something with. So I said, let's put it by the tree, make it look nice. Don't know what we're gonna do with it yet. Maybe sit on it. May as well use it if you got it. 
as it turns out, I didn't buy enough grass seed, so I bought 10 more bags. Uh, it took 12 to do three quarters of the yard, so this should more than cover the rest of it. Just waiting in line to pay, and then off I go. After what was a pretty long day out here, hours and hours, I got the whole darn thing seeded. So uh, probably did about uh, an acre and a half of grass seed. Ended up using 20 bags of grass seed. And we've got um, four days of solid rain coming up. Not tomorrow, but the day after it's gonna rain for a week, which this should be the perfect time to let it settle in, get it nice and saturated. And hopefully we'll see some little green sprouts popping up. Meanwhile, I've been working over here at the pool too, kind of doing double duty. Last year, um, we got most of the, the work done around the pool. When we bought the property, it was partially completed. We got it mostly completed. Uh, actually, it should be pretty much ready to go this year. Um, but trying to get the uh, water that we put in the pool last year put back in the hot tub. I've got a little bit uh, longer to wait for that to happen. So I'm going to keep busy skimming and getting all the crud out of the pool and out of the hot tub so that uh, when our pool guy comes on Friday to uh, open it up for the season, we can shock it and, uh, and make it uh, swimmable again. Well, it's a little murky, but it's not too bad considering it sat all winter long. I got most of the leaves and bugs that somehow always end up getting inside of a pool out. Just have to top it up with some water before Friday and then uh, this should be just about ready to go. Be nice once that's there and the house is all up and running, the nice little short walk to the kitchen, grab some snacks, have a barbecue on that deck. This is gonna be quite the uh, party pad <laughs> for our family come summertime. It's all quiet around the house today, but in the time that I went and came back, some steps, <laughs> you know, right there, those steps have started to appear. Um, we still have to build up a sidewalk to the bottom of it there and railings have to go on. So it'll look a little bit uh, fancier, but at least we can walk up there. In fact, I'm gonna do that just now, look. Well, I should make sure they're screwed on. Yep, they are. <laughs> steps for that, you know, show tune waiting to happen. So steps on the front, I'm gonna go look around the back and see if there's steps on there too. As I'm walking along the back to check, I see they got the screens on the windows. So we've got screens. They still have to come and wash the windows. They're pretty dirty on the outside. Imagine that'll be one of the last things that happens. So we've got screens in place. And yeah, there's steps here too. So I guess next step, ha, next step, we'll be getting the um, railing in place. It looks like they're not quite done getting that one situated where it needs to go. But railing has to go on. Nice little spot to put a our table, our outdoor patio table. But enough about the stairs. Look, well, maybe you can't see. There's pokey little bits of green starting to pop up on the berm from the seed I put down last week. Um, well, it's only been a couple days since I did the yard. In fact, like, 24 hours maybe at the time of filming but a week ago or so I did put down seed here and it's starting to come in little fragments of green little bits and you can probably barely see it poking through there but I can it's making me feel optimistic that we'll have a yard here before too long you know when you think that life isn't interesting enough all you have to do is just walk on your property a bit and you find a bit of a surprise um, Melissa noticed there was a bit of a pipe over here the other day sticking out of the ground and uh <laughs> <laughs> We're going to check it out. Who has the dog? Should I wait for uh, Steven to come over? Okay. So this is the pipe we saw. And I'm like, oh, that's like some kind of little vented stack. It's clearly curved over so that, you know, maybe there was a septic thing or something under here. Who knows? Um, but I'll wait until Steven gets over here. So we came to investigate. Now come look what it freaking is. What do yeah. you think it is first? What's your guess? Well, there's only a couple reasons to have a pipe like that. Why would there be a, a pipe sticking out of the ground like that? Okay, Stephen, look over here. Come look. Okay, be careful with you Come look. There's a hinge. There's a there's a trap door. There's a hatch. There's a secret hidden hatch. In our... It's like a... Is it a bunker? There's a... How far does it go? 
much. Look, yeah, there's an actual trap door hatch in our yard. And look, the hasp is open. I'm, I should, probably shouldn't be standing on it. I don't know how strong that is. I'd... <laughs> well, no, it's concrete. What? It's concrete. It's actual, it's cement. That's why there's cement. That's... Now, it might be that this is a... Look, it's actually quite big. Look, the cement goes all the way over here. Good. You want to grab the rake? Let's rake this off and see how big this is. I can make that my new room if it's cool. See this? Yeah. This is like from Lost. It's the hatch. Sarma Industries has been here. There's like a secret room or something. Oh. <laughs> that's kind of... That's actually crazy. It's, it's uh... How far back does it go? Look, it goes back at least. That's all concrete. You guys want me to open it? I mean, yeah. Okay, hang on, let me try and get some of this off. Where's the lead? Don't stop recording, Steven. Because who knows what we're gonna find here. They're gonna see the cut in the video and know I stopped recording briefly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how far. It's well, I wasn't expecting this. Well, I saw the pipe as I was recording. Okay. Uh, maybe we should get the broom. We have a broom over by the. What do you need the broom for? Well, this this hatch um that. Hasp doesn't look all that old. Somebody had a loss on it at one point. This might be for like gas or something. No, it's not. Like for sewage? Gas. No. You don't think I, so? It might be uh well, no, I don't think it'd be septic. Well, let, let me see. No, if, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> this is what we're looking at so far. You can see this was bolted shut at some point. Somebody's cut it off. Thorns. Look, I got thorns all over me. Maybe that's the security system. Okay, I'm gonna get a shovel under there after I pull these thorns out of my finger and uh, see if I can get this thing open up. Yeah, I don't know where the best spot. I like covered in thorns. Yeah, it's bad. Okay. Oh, I, I heard it kind of move. It sounded hollow. Hang on. Holy cow, that's heavy. Or really stuck. They said the guy that originally bought this property was like a survivalist, so. Oh. Okay. Get We're more. just using whatever tools we have lying around. I didn't bring anything specific to open this one. We actually just found it before we started filming. We could put something like. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna. If I try and get the lift up, we gotta stick something underneath it. I don't know why I keep standing on top. Uh, Are you still filming? Yes, I am. I should probably stop standing. Okay, I'm going to try on this side. I'm assuming... What if a bunch of bees come flying out? <laughs> that would be the second time we've had issues with bees at this property. Well, those weren't bees that stung us. Oh, whatever. They're yellow and they're mean. Oh, okay. I just had to give them a little detail. Are you recording? Yes. Am I recording? Do you think <laughs> I want to miss it? Let's try to get it in deeper. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I need the rake. Oh, I'm a little nervous actually. Oh, oh. what we need to do is get, when, when I get it up, we'll just use that to, to pull up on that, Stephen. Yeah. And it'll hopefully go underneath. Okay, hold your steady for Okay, maybe we need a little bit more room. Yeah, we do. Okay, I don't want you falling in this. I'm not gonna fall in. I'm not on top of the door. This could be like a bunker. Yeah, that's what we thought. 
secret mine shaft. Okay. Bring it over on this side. And that's straight it. up and down. No, straight up and like metal straight up and down. And then put some weight on it. It's and try tilting. That looks encouraging. Oh, that's too thin. This is a tight seal. That must have been an easier way to get it open before. Well, I'm guessing something was attached to that chain. Okay, hand me the rake. Put it back like you had it, there's enough room. Over more towards the shovel, straight, straight up and down. Wedge it in good, tilt up. Okay, um, yeah. okay leave it there. Oh, I want that. There you go. Can you keep it there? Ah, we got something in there. Ooh. It's something. Okay, leave okay, that Don't there. fall in the hole. Okay, I, you know, I don't plan on falling in the hole. But it does yeah. sound fun. I'm going to try and scooch this out of the way. There you go. Yep. Okay, don't move the rake. That's the only thing keeping it from dropping back down again. Okay. Here, I'm gonna hold your arm. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall in. Be careful. I don't want you to get this will be there by that thing. It's okay. I have okay. quite a few thorns in there. I don't know if I put your fingers there, Dad. Um, that's definitely something. What is it? It just looks like a. Uh, maybe it's a. Uh, well, that pipe doesn't look. It looks like maybe rainwater. Maybe. Secret. Bunker. Do you want to film what you see from your side? Yeah, okay. It's still on. Okay. So. It's not too deep at least. Okay, this is what we found. It looks like uh, maybe that's part of an old septic tank or something. It looks like it's just soil down there right now. Super random. What I should do is find somebody who... Uh... Whoa, Stephen. <laughs> I need both hands. I'm going to set this down. We're going to put the lid back on because there's not much to see down there. It's late in the day now. The hatch, well, it wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. Um, and you know how I was happy about having the stairs? I thought there were temporary steps. Apparently, uh, those were the steps that they had planned for the front of the house. And Melissa and I, I'll be honest, we're not happy. And I'll tell you why. We're a little unhappy about it because they're so small. Apparently, there wasn't really anything on the plan. So they kind of just came up with, an, with the design. But... They are narrower than the width of the door frame, so they don't have symmetry. And really, there's only one, one person can go up and down at a time. And we oftentimes have many, many people, many family members coming over, um, you know, kids and children and stuff. So having a bigger staircase is actually not just something that will look better, but more, you know, more practical for us. So I have run out to Home Depot tonight and bought these 10-foot pressure treated planks and I was all prepared to build my own steps tonight and Drew Pad said well no we we have plans we've got railings planned for that and you're just gonna basically have to put a, give him some time to try and figure it out I think he wants to just install it the way it is but honestly I'm I I need to find a way to get it fixed because it's just not right that does not look good I'll put well, I'll put the planks on and show you how wide it should be I've just set these on top of the old steps to give you an idea. Obviously, they're not in, but that is how wide I want the steps to actually be. See, isn't that better? More grand of an entrance. So um, that is a 10-foot board as opposed to a 6-foot board. Big, big difference, but you know what? I know when something looks better. I know when something needs to be done to make it right. And I'll just have to do whatever I got to do to make it uh, so we can make this happen. I'll stack the wood for now, and hopefully I can sweet talk Drew Pad into uh, getting a crew out here or allowing me to build these and get these in. Well, that was an eventful day from getting the grass seed down just before the rain hit to getting the pool skimmed out ready for the pool guy to the minor mix up with the steps. And you know, in Drew Pad's defense, we probably should have asked those questions. Um, we should have just left that in his hands to come up with a design for our steps. If we had something in mind. We kind of assumed, because we hadn't really seen the plans for the steps, that it would be something that would match. Anyway, it doesn't matter. 
we'll get it fixed. But unfortunately, that means that uh, we have to wait until after the railings go on and after occupancy gets approved because they've already got it booked in for Monday. Um, so we'll build it the way we don't like it and then we'll have to deconstruct and kind of build it again. It's kind of going backwards on it, which isn't ideal, but that's what has to happen for now. So with any luck, um, pool will get cleaned on for the next video. Um, we will get uh, our occupancy permit, which will be great news. And hopefully this rain that's coming will give us a little bit of green and a little bit of hope for a lovely summer on the property. But for now, I'm back at my old house. <laughs> I'm going to call it a night because it's, it's dark out, it's late, it's nighttime, and I'm headed off to bed. So thank you very much for watching today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to tune in for more as we continue on with, um, I guess, you know, building the house and potentially doing a little bit of homesteading, and oh, it's going to be a whole thing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the series so far. Keep watching for more, and uh, we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.